excited uh, for the fan base, for the administration, the community, the university, uh, and those young men out there on the football field, for them to be able to experience that celebration when the uh, security guards let everybody on the football field. I thought that was great. That's what college football is all about, that excitement, that energy. It's so pure. It's so honest. And uh, anytime when you're young, 18 to 22 years old, and you have an opportunity to, ex to experience something like that, it's going to always be special. It's always going to be something that stays with you for a very long time. Uh, I, the, big, the biggest thing about this win is that anytime you, you take over a new program, there's, there's a, you, you're trying to get everybody to buy in. You're trying to get everybody to work as one. And no matter how hard everyone wants to do that, there's always the naysayers. There's always those ones that say, hey, maybe we should be doing it the way the old people, the old team did it or the old coaches did it. And it's, it's always that way until you get that one win that solidifies you, that brings you together, that, that hardship that brings the family closer together. And uh, that's what happened today. We're now a family. We're an Ohana. We're a La Familia. Now we're five fingers that are a fist. And now we can go out and play some orange football. Dino, can you just speak on the fourth down efficiency, obviously keeping drives alive, scoring opportunities alive, just what you could say about fourth down and going for it today? Well, again, I, I, I think a lot of it comes down to we're looking at the structure of defenses. We're looking at situations. We're, we're not reckless. We, we want to just go on the fourth down and say, oh, yeah, we're gambling and we're going on fourth down. And we're not. That's not what we do. We really cal try to be calculated. And we try to, even though the percentage is against us, we try to work the mathematical numbers so it's in our advantage when we do it. And uh, I can't remember the numbers today, but I think they were good. Okay. Yeah, I, I really, I'm not being funny. I really can't remember. I just know it looks good. Feel, we got a good call. We think we know what they're going to be in. Feel good about it. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, Dino, there were a couple guys on defense who kind of saw increased roles due to personnel issues. Chris Frederick at corner, Dejon Wilson defensive end. What did you see from those two guys who, who both seemed like they had pretty good games today? They, they, had, they had good games today, They're special teams, and we had a sack, and I believe, uh, I think Wilson got the uh, fumble on the sideline, and I mean, it's, it's always good to see somebody step up, and uh, that's what the family's all about. I'm really proud of them. I'm happy for their success. You know, Wilson, you're talking about a guy that's a graduate transfer from Colorado and spent his four years with someone else, and he's spending his, his, his graduate year here. With, at Syracuse, and I'm happy for him, and I'm happy, I'm happy for all those guys. Chris? Oh, uh, Dino, um, sorry, right here. Right side. Okay, <laughs> no, that's all right. Um, well, Eric looked like he was limping on the sideline early. Then he, he took the shot that put him out for a play, and then, like, soon after that, he, he got blind. You know, he took a shot in the back. You've seen good performances from quarterbacks, but, but where did that rank on the, kind of the guts scale? You hit the word. It was gutsy. It was real gutsy. We, we need him, and we, and we need him healthy. And, and certain times, we're willing to put him at risk a little bit. You know, we have to do some untraditional things sometimes to move the ball versus people who are really, really good. And this Virginia Tech team is really, really good until we build up the depth on our football team and build up the players on our football team so that we can do it another way and protect them. We, I would love to play a game where our quarterback never has to run the ball. I'd love to play a game where our quarterback never gets touched. And I have played games like that. But right now, at this time, at this moment in time, we have to be calculated and we need his legs in our offense. Anytime your quarterback's out there battling and he's hurt and he's, and he's bruised and he's bleeding and, he, and he's coming back in the game, it really makes you check your whole card about your owies and uh, kind of put your lips together and just play. Stop the complaining because everybody's out here battling. Hey, Coach. Right back here. How do you explain this? Um, you know, the defense looking like it did and the offense putting up so many yards and points against the number one defense in the league and – the team looking suddenly, you know, like it's arrived or how do you explain it? You know, you guys, it's 
first of all, it was, it, it was the best effort we had offensively and defensively and with special teams. I, I think that if, you, if, you had, if your eyes were open and you were at the game, you could see the energy, not hear the energy. You could see the energy. And I think that energy carried us. I think the coaches did a nice job. It's not that they didn't do nice jobs before, but I really felt like offensively and defensively, Coach Kaufman in the kicking game, we really kind of had a beat on, on what they were doing. We had an advantage on defense because we had played that offense last year. And it's an exceptional offense. From, from Coach Foster has been around a long time. So his defense has been around a long time. His defense is excellent. It really is. But we, we had to make some adjustments from the Wake Forest game, and we did. And we think that we had a better effort of putting um, our, our weak links in stronger positions to give them an opportunity uh, to help us win. Uh, Coach, after Virginia Tech tied it up at 17, how did you adapt the game plan to pull away with the victory? It wasn't so much of an uh, adaption. We just went back to the things that worked. Uh, we knew that you know, they're going to be pressing. We're, we're just playing. We wanted to get it to the fourth quarter where we had a chance to win the game. I'm not even sure what the fourth quarter score was. It was 17-17? Someone help me. OK, OK. All right, 17-17. So now you're playing a team ranked in the top 20 for one quarter at your place. And we've got our crowd. And, and they've, got to, they've got to play in noise, and we don't. And uh, we're excited. Uh, I'm happy, really happy for those guys in that locker room and really happy for all you to, to really get a taste of what this thing's going to look like. Coach, it's kind of a similar question, but, you know, Virginia Tech has the momentum. They tie the game up. Their fans are getting loud. How proud are you with the way your guys responded? You didn't just hold them off. You went and scored two touchdowns to put that game away. Well, you know, it, again, the defense was like that was – they, they were they're not getting any more, Coach. They're not getting any more. My thing was, we're, we're not we're gonna we're gonna play smart, but we're going. You got to play to win the game. You got to knock out the champion. You just can't try to beat him on points. We can't hang around and and try to bleed clock and all that kind of stuff when the score is like that. We're gonna try to score touchdowns. We're gonna try to win it the right way, and then we're gonna get some space so that our defense can play wild and loose. Coach, offensive line and defensive line, probably the best game all year. What was the key to success in the way that you protected your quarterback and got to the quarterback? Well, our, our, our offensive line did a nice job versus their big guys. They came after us. They pressured us. Uh, they, they rushed three, dropped eight. They brought guys off the edges. They corner blitzed. They played two-cheek corner. There was, there was a lot of chess match going on out there. I mean, there was a lot of schemes going on. And they just kept, we kept making the adjustments, and it just seemed like even though we may go one, two, three and outs, that we'd make the next adjustment and we'd get ahead of the, ahead of the eight ball a little bit, so to speak. So I, I thought it was really good. I mean, our defense, Coach Ward, I mean, wow. And you guys, the, the big thing, again, the special teams. When our special teams are out there, they're going against scholarship guys. We got a lot of non-scholarship players on our special teams. And just so proud of the kickoff unit, the punt return unit, the punt team. Are you kidding me? And then even kickoff return, we had our moments. So uh, we weren't great on field goals, but you know what? We didn't need the field goal tonight. Okay, so there. Okay, we'll get, we'll practice that and we'll get better. But happy, that's a team win for everybody, and excited about that. Last two questions. I think it was after the Notre Dame game you said that, that we see some mistakes, a blown coverage or a pre-snap penalty, but not the small stuff. Today, there weren't, didn't seem like a lot of uh, blown coverages, but that small stuff, did, did you see growth there, and where do you see that? I, I, think th I think there was a lot of growth there. I think we really, you guys, if I told you how stressful the last 48 hours of conversations have been with individual players you you guys have no idea and the whole thing was working together working together working together it's not about yelling it's not about screaming it's about getting people to buy in on one common goal and they did it they did it and they walked out here and they showed everybody and i'm happy that they have that success that it's going to stay with them forever the moment will stay with them forever Final question, John. similar question dana right here uh, but just with the defense, what's the biggest difference you saw overall compared to
previous games and being able to put together a complete game and get stops when you needed to. The things that you guys won't see was the, was the minimum – the minimum mistakes of mental mistakes, okay? They played a really, really clean game as far as being in the right spot. So that's the part you won't see. The part that you did see is that it was the most physical game that you've seen in a long time here. There were people that were actually being struck. You could hear the sounds in the stands. You could see the people being inflicted, okay? And that's what the game's all about. It's, it's a beautiful game when you play it. Anytime you play this game, to play this game without the physicality part of it, it's truly not a game. And even though we're a spread team and all that kind of stuff, I'm always preaching to them that you have to play the game the right way. And it has to do with the physicality part of it. What makes football football is the physicalness of it. We're not trying to get anybody hurt on either team. We're not trying to concuss anybody on either team. But to see a clean football game where people are playing that physical, I think that's what brings everybody back. And I think that's what fill up houses. And that's the reason why college football is what it is today. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.